Alrighty, and we are back. HHIG Phantasm opting to stick with the trusty old HHIG Ryu. Ryu Green is his favorite one, and he's just sort of a legend around the park for having it. So, Phantasm versus Das is the We'll see how this one plays out. Now, Phantasm doesn't really have an issue against Zone because he's actually pretty proficient against them. This might not be a very good matchup for Das here. Ooh, and, oh my god, straight up just killing very early against Daz at like no percent. He's only at 80% just now himself, and he comes down, but of course Toon Link was prepared for that. Uh, Toon Link doesn't have too many, uh, much like Young Link, uh, moves to break focus. Uh, when I say Young Link, I mean like his forward air. I don't know if Toon Link's forward air is going to be like a Um... Ooh, it looks like it looks like it, but uh, overall he just will have a hard time breaking focus in the middle. Yeah. Um, Sebastian Phantasm is very good. Huh? For those of you who don't know, don't know his name is Sebastian, so two point for that. All right, Phantasm come back to the stage, avoiding that last Z drop bomb. We'll see what else happens here. Oh, Dash going way up into the air. Bomb coming down, blocks the bomb. Good awareness from Phantasm knowing that once the bomb bounced off his shield, he was safe. Das finally taking that first stock. It took him forever, but he basically almost took no percent in doing it. So good on him. Here we are at an even game once again. It's taken a full minute to take one stock off of each of them, which is crazy. Because it's not like they're it's not like just until now Das was completely camping. Which isn't a bad thing per se, it's just um, he, he wasn't uh, doing it before because he was really uh, playing very aggressively trying to get that damage and that last stock on Phantasm that he desperately He got it, but he also got it. Oh my god, sure you off the top of the platform. Feel that. Ooh, shielding the bomb, thinking it was going to come down and blow him out of his combo and uh, add some damage on the two link there. Good awareness. It's not even awareness at this point, it's focus. Slapped his focus real quick with his sword, and Phantasm dashed out of focus. Ooh, combo and bomb into up air, into second up air, he needs to land. That is Ryu's toughest objective in these games. He has a hard issue with landing, but Phantasm taking a two-stock victory and popping off over that. Give it your all. I gave him your three Hit stocks. Hit that jug, bro. Give him your three stocks and no chance of a comeback. Myron sitting stunned right there as his chance at maybe getting one Stunt of the cover slips even further out of his grasp. Never gets to look at the rest I just go turn around like, just go, go zoom back into it. All right, here we are jumping Actually. right into game number two. Phantasm and Dazzle sticking true, going back to the same stage as before. Das obviously feeling pretty comfortable on the stage. He feels like he could have made a few tweaks to his gameplay on the stage, but he still feels comfortable here. He's still liking the battlefield, as most links do. Nice focus there by uh, Phantasm knowing that, or, or, or calling out that Das would retreat with that forward air or not hit at all. Um, good stuff, good stuff. So we see the Tatsu into, oh my god, he's just getting trailed across stage right now by Das. Every defensive option he's throwing out has just been squeaked under the bus. He's having a really hard time working around the boomerang. But, alas, he isn't, you know, one, one of the best Ryu's around. Uh, if, if not the best Ryu in San Antonio for... I'm sure he's got something to do. Das doing it very good at keeping him away, though. Especially now that he's using a bit more boomerang. Phantasm making sure he remembers that the boomerang is always coming back so he doesn't get scooped up. Phantasm going very deep for what was supposed to be a spike there, but he didn't get the scoops up. So we'll see here real soon. Oh my god, the boomerang ripped him out of focus and gave Das the kill. Phantasm is feeling the pressure right now, and so is everyone behind him. Oh, 
Yeah, that that upward throw bomb into up air seems to be one of his uh go-to options for, for damage, especially when bad times go to the platform. And rightly so, it's a good move. It does a lot of damage, and you can usually string in the other operators if he's careful. Phantasm finally getting out of his small little um, juggle there, and then opting to throw the bomb off stage instead of using it against Das. Um, and, and thankfully doing that because he wouldn't give Das the option to uh, tilt catch it or anything like that. On the other hand, it could have probably comboed into something akin to a true shorty or kill. I need to see. There we go, that's what I was about to say. A down tilt confirm into Shoryu. Let's go. And what's funny, the funniest thing about Phantasm is you can watch him and every time he kills with a, um, with a short he just does a mini pop off and like straightens his arms and everything. That, that man feels it when he's playing. He knows when the short is coming. Ooh, and Das knows when the up air is coming. Holy crap. Is Das gonna run away with this game? He's got a full one stock lead over Phantasm right now. Now, mind you, Phantasm is seated 100 Das right now, but Phantasm in the past has been um, seated over him many times before. So we'll see what happens here and which one of them takes this. They, they're, they're both like one after another on seating, so this should be a very close set of games. Opting for the short you in the middle of the stage, and it worked out for him because he didn't even get punished for it. What is this? Okay, okay. It looks like Das is running away with it right now. Oh my god, it just killed. He literally just has to press down a button and it gives him a kill. Wow. Alrighty. Das has a lot of room to make up for because Phantasm only needs 50 or 60% before, before he can kill him once again. He's been very good this game about getting those confirms into the, uh, into the, the short use of his life. There we go, using Fireball to approach there. Oh no, Boomerang ripping him out of focus once again. He needs to stop using focus when the uh, when Das is throwing out a Boomerang or it's gonna end up killing him. Forcing Das to go very low out of um, sheer scaredness. Ooh, but the Boomerang's still arcing down and hitting him. Das almost confirmed that, and that probably, that might have killed the pins. Um, Ryu's still a pretty heavy fighter, but we're coming down to the wire here. Oh no. Who's gonna take this? They're both at kill percent is the scary part. They're both at kill percent. That that focus literally just saved him. Oh my god. One hit one hit from either one of them. One hit will kill. Oh my god, Das just Oh, he didn't even take the game. Tatsu bringing it back to the stage, but forward air taking the game. And we are at 1-1 one, one right now. Das has the momentum. However, we're to, we're through game five now. Is, are we gonna get this Olimar moving forward, or is Light about to take it out right now? Hope he doesn't get nervous, but this is his count pick. I just have to say, he won that flex game. That third game is very important when you get to game five because you get to pick the stage, and sometimes that really becomes a deciding factor. But probably won't be that big of a deal here, seeing that this is the the most picked stage of this tournament. Right. Yeah. So no doubt about it, man. This is where it all will come to fruition for one of these individuals. Incredible talents this meeting. Stunned by the state number five. Oh, oh my goodness, Tyler trying to snatch his soul a little bit. Yeah, always, always nice to get that down to, to work out the back. All right, game three, like final game between Gas and HHIG Phantom. We'll see them play like Woodsy's here a little bit. Real. Finally getting a single hit in, but it, for the last 10 seconds, they've literally almost gotten it. Nice, calling out the, uh, the tether grab, but not calling out how much it would have taken to uh, for the boomerang to come back. He knew, he knew it left, he just didn't focus on it coming back because he's so focused on getting a confirm out of it. Out of his down tilts and end up jabs and everything out of it. Focus, focusing the boomerang, of course. Bass almost running away with that again. If he would have got one more hit and taken him off stage, it would have been a one side. Got a bomb, got a bomb, got a bomb. Oh, he almost, he called the backup, but he didn't call the jab. He thought he was gonna, that Dash was going to roll. But regardless, 
But what you'll see here, just in general, the uh, the, the zoner versus a uh, zone breaker matchup. Now, of course, um, Phantasm is having to play much more like a zone breaker than he is a bait and punish because Link, Toon Link almost has no reason to fall for baits and punishes when he can sit back and throw crap at him. So what we see a lot of here? Yeah, sure, you can see a lot of that. But um, what we're seeing in this matchup it is a key example of how zoners work and, and uh, the, the, the relationship between zoners and non-zoner characters and how they should fight. You'll, you'll see here that this is a straight up zoning character and Das is doing a very good job of it as well uh, versus uh, a character who has no pro almost no projectiles or useful projectiles in this matchup and Ryu is still somehow taking this match. How is that? That is because in the matchup zoners versus non-zoners what you'll see is Sebastian Phantasm almost always has center stage control, like you see here. Every time he gets back onto the stage, Dash runs away from him, and he runs to the opposite side of the stage. And so what you need to do is get, uh, like, sort of corner the other person on the other side of the stage, corner the zoner, because they, they will corner themselves to be able to throw stuff at you safely. Then they back themselves up against the ledge. And so they have to either throw a roll, an attack, or a jump to get around you to run away from you to get to a safe spot again. So you have to cover their unsafe options when they run away from you, when they're trying to run past you. Is basically uh, the dynamic of this matchup. And the zoner's job is not really to hit you with the projectiles as they're running away, but rather to cover their escape to the ledge so they can keep throwing projectiles at you precisely and combo them. Oh, nice footstool there by Das and comboing that into another bomb. But Sebastian seems to have the matchup figured out right now. Das is absolutely playing on um, what seems to be sort of an autopilot. Uh, before he was a little bit more aggressive, but he is running back to the edge of the stage where he's cornering himself and then forcing himself to do unsafe options. That Phantasm is doing a very good job of calling out right now. Alrighty. Boomerang, angle boomerang downwards. Uh, Phantasm decided not to approach right there. And cornered him into a down tilt combo, hoping that the Hadouken would probably gimp him or something, something to that extent. Getting up Fireball. Fireball is just meant to take out the forward thrown bomb so he can uh, so he can approach right now. That's all he's using for almost. They're not really meant to hit Das. And that will combo into forward smash. Good luck, good job. Good, good stuff on the focus, boyo. Das calling a focus or anything at all from there, and then pulling out the, uh, the tether drop. He makes it back to the stage and hits Phantasm on the way. Good shark, good shark. Now, another key example of Das being on the ledge and then jumping over Phantasm, a very unsafe option, and burning his double jump. That could have been exploited. Uh, Phantasm just had to call that specific one. But what was exploited was the random Shoryu on shield. Not so, for those of you who don't know, but the shield break on stream, and he pushes Das off the ledge and pops off. Holy crap. HHIG Phantasm with the pop off shield break on Toon Link from the other side of the stage. Good stuff. Good stuff from Das as well. Das did a really good job of keeping him out the, that, that, those first two games. But the third game, it looked like he uh, he was trying out a different strategy. He had lost all his momentum the second game and asked himself, what am I doing wrong? And so unfortunately, he fell into the, uh, the, the very common zoner pattern of run to one side of the stage, throw stuff on the way over when you get there, per precision throw, and then when they get close to you, run to the other side of the stage and rinse and repeat. And after a while, Phantasm was just able to pick up on which option.